play 80 yeah. period back in black and uh, and um, can you tell me in a few words how do you write how ACDC write an ACDC song what's the process well, you, it, well it starts with Malcolm and Angus always does it's always uh, like that yeah. then you come well you, this time Angus and Malcolm <coughs> really did you know they, they, they came with lyric and with uh, song titles and everything and and basically my job as a singer is to go in there and breathe life into it and and if there's something missing I just I mean I wish you could have seen the songboard I mean uh, Brendan O'Brien would come and say I've just seen Malcolm and Angus and, and here's some of the lyric and, and, and with this and, and, and I don't understand this doesn't make sense and, and so we'll, we'll, we'll write a little bit here so we'd we'll stick a bit here and then we'd stick a bit here and then another new piece here. And you do that in studio. And, and when I'd be singing, yeah. I'd be going, you know, oh, but down, it's turning good. I want you to do And I want it. And it was just bits of shit everywhere. And, uh, but it was fun. It, it felt like you were in a, you know, it wasn't polished. It yeah. wasn't all yeah. typed out. And yeah. all, it was just That's like the old days. Bits of pen here, a bit, bit of felt tip there. But that's record ball, no? Yeah, and, and of course, singer. I get bored very easily yeah. if I have to sing things yeah. again and again and again until it's right. But this was great because Brendan used to give you the freedom to sing what you want. A perfect example was Brendan said, Brian, the boys have written, they've got this track. I, I said, I really like it, but I don't think it's going to make the album because it's a little surreal for ACDC. He said, but I love the chorus, which is rock and roll dream. I believe in a rock and roll. He said, I love the chorus, but we don't have any verse, you know, the melody. And he said, I want you to just sing it, okay? And I went, what do you mean just sing it? I got to know. He said, no, no, I want you to just stand there and whatever comes into your head, sing it. And that's the one, you know, deep water all around me and circle sharks all around. And I just went straight through it, one shot. And I went, I don't think the boys are going to like it. It sounds too jazzy, <clears throat> too, you know, more jazzy than bluesy. I'm really not sure if they're going to like this, you know. They'll probably call us, you know, a nutter. And he didn't say anything. He just got up and left and I went... Jesus, was it that bad? And he'd gone upstairs mm -hmm. and he played it to Malinang and he came down and he went, you're finished, my friend. And I went, what do you mean? And he said, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, oh, come yeah. on, you know, yeah, yeah. give us a break. And it, yeah, it yeah. couldn't be. But it was just one of those lucky things that, and lucky things happen when you're with the right people. But, you and know, you, you, I think you, you well, I, 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 I suppose you know that you're a lucky guy because you sing with two incredibly good guitar yeah. players, but also Forget, yeah. you'll sing on one of the best rhythm section ever in the yeah. whole rock and roll history. Yeah. Because Phil <coughs> and Cliff and Cliff are today, I, I, still today, yeah. better than ever. Yeah. Well, I heard just the album this morning, you know. Yeah. But what I heard is wow. the, the two of them are incredible. And especially after Cliff, you know, he yeah. cut his hand open about uh, ten months ago. And he required surgery, you know, from his tendons. He oh, lost yeah. all the use yeah. of his, all his fingers. And, and, and Phil, you know, I remember one of the songs, uh, we had a technical breakdown in the middle of the song, and Brendan O'Brien went, ay, 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 he said, that was perfect shit. Well, uh, well we're never going to get that again. Oh, yeah. God damn it. You know, something electrical had broken. And Phil went, you know, sugar, now, nah, just play it and I'll join in again. We'll do it. And Brandon said, it br I've tried it a million times. It's just not going to work. It, yeah. It's never the same. And Phil went, yes, it will be. It just fits. <laughs> and I said, okay, we'll give it a try. And the, the, the played it through and it finished. Now, remember, um, Brendan O'Brien just went. And he looked at Phil and he went, you are a machine, my friend. You are a machine. And, and, yes. and Phil just went. Oh no. <laughs> it's true. Ah, oh, yeah. Phil's great. You know, he plays the drums and he, he had this piece of paper hanging off one of the cymbals. Mm. And we were going, what's on that piece of paper? Because it was in the drum. Nobody went in. And after about two weeks, I went, I'm going to have a look at this. And it was just a big pair of tits. <laughs> a photograph of the biggest pair of tits you've ever seen. I said, what's that for? He went, inspiration. 
But I mean, this guy's incredible. Uh, you but, know. but the band seems to be in great shape, good shape. Everybody yeah. is look, you look not particularly uh, sad today. Uh, well, you know, 61 uh, and next birthday, it's, I think on the 5th of October. So I'm getting up there, you know, yeah. so I'm going to try and to keep uh, as fit as I can. And, and uh, I would like to know, um, <coughs> to me, ACDC, with more than 30 years now, yeah. for you nearly 30 yeah. years, huh, soon, <laughs> um, but it's still, I mean, like Led Zeppelin used to be, honest and mm -hmm. brave, and um, that's, that's what I find the most. Well, oh, thanks. We're, we're really. We're trying to keep no faith. trick, and um, there's a kind of fidelity yeah. to, 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 to your music, to the fans. But with this album, I think it's going to be, the machine is going to be uh, yeah, running well, again. I, don't know. I do we're suppose that was your hope. Fingers crossed, yes. We're, you know, as I said before, we didn't want to let the fans down especially, and, and we really wanted to, to tell people that we've yeah. we, we still got uh, something to offer, you know, the, to make the world a, you know, a rockin' up, a more rockin' yeah. place. And thankfully now, there's some young bands coming up uh, that have that same spunk, uh, the answer. It's one, you know, um, from Belfast, great rock band. Uh, yeah, I've just heard the album, I haven't seen them live, but they made me smile, you know, when I heard the record. Yeah. I went, oh, yeah, these guys have got it. Uh, so that kind of thing makes me feel good, you know, that at least somebody's listening. And, and there's a new band out of Australia, there's a new band out of Glasgow, Scotland, called, they're called Glas Vegas, which I love the name. I think it's a great name. But, you know, it, it makes you feel good, you know, and... Uh, because there was a time, honestly, when I thought there, was, there wasn't anything. There was a lot of heavy metal bands coming up and metal bands and all that. And, uh, and I love all kinds of music. I'm not a snob. You know, I really do. Uh, but rock and roll is still my favourite. You know, when I listen to the old Satchmo records, honestly, it's, it's, it's rock and roll. It was called swing then. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> rock, heavy rock and all of that is just bam, bam, bam. But some people can rock. But they forget the roll, yeah. you know, and the roll is the bit that makes you, yeah, baby, you know, that makes you swing, you know, it makes you really just pound it out, you know, and that's the great thing about it. And uh, as, as my friend, the late, great Jerry Wexler, once said to me, he said, w you know, when I, you know, he was credited with calling it the rhythm and the blues. Yeah. And he said, I, I was just a little wrong. It should have been the rock and the roll. But I called it the rhythm and the blues. Oh, yeah. Seemed up. Yeah. Passed on last week. You addressed this all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brian, um, can you tell me just a few words about, well, I told you this is one of my favorite money made. What is it talking about? About a story in Los Angeles somewhere? Yeah, basically, it's just about people making lots and lots of money. And, yeah. and you know, like there's a, a, a campaign in the end to Hollywood, you know. Yeah. You know, when you're a new young star and all that in Hollywood, they throw everything at you. Yeah. Everything. It makes you feel the most important person in the world. And that's why everybody commits suicide or, or goes crackers, because a month later, they, they don't even want to know you. You know, you've got the biggest swimming pool in town. You know, don't wake her up until after four o'clock. Yeah. Because you ain't going to be up because she's got to do all the party scene all night. You know, so it's, it's what we've seen. And, 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 you know, and when we stay in hotels and, you know, when we're doing Los Angeles and stuff, and you see them come in. We just sit in the corner, have a beer or something, and you can see them. As I say, you know, they've got one hit, and then all of a sudden they're the most important yeah, person yeah, in the yeah. world. And unfortunately, they believe it. Yeah. And they actually believe that they're and most they don't important. Last. Yeah, and, and, you know, <laughs> and it's just time. sad. You know, they tell the world what their political yeah. beliefs are. Yeah, they tell yeah. the world what, how it should be run. Sad. Rock and roll dream? Yeah, well, that's a great the song on the album, yeah. and also rocking all the way. Yeah, it's just a cracking song. It's well, just, the uh, end of the album is, uh, well, well the, it's as good as the start. The album is going like this. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it keeps yeah. going up and up and up. I w actually, I was quite ticked off about that. Yeah. Because um, uh, they said to me, Brian, uh, the running order. And I was going, geez, you could do anything. I said, well, who's done it? Uh, Who did it? Uh, running out of at the Sonny Records did it at the end because oh, okay. we couldn't make our mind up. I was okay. going, what do you think, Mal? And he was going, well, I think that should be there, <laughs> and that should be there. <laughs> and Angus is going, nah, 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 that should be there, and that should be there. <laughs> and I'm going, 
Well, I think you're both wrong, because that should be... <laughs>